Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. And Jamie. And we're continuing our series, Seven U.S. Food Banned in Other Countries. I think it's ten. What did I say? Seven. It is ten. Okay. It is ten. You're right. Maybe we're on number seven. I don't even think we're on number seven. I think we're on number six. We are on number six. Good thing you're, good thing you're here. Good thing you're doing this series with me. Um, I don't know where I came up with seven. I have no idea. <laughs> so, um, this originally appeared on Dr. Mercola, drmercola.com, or mercola.com, M-E-R-C-O-L-A.com. There's an article that he wrote about 10 foods, 10 U.S. foods that are banned in other countries, and some really interesting stuff in the list. You can check it out on our YouTube, YouTube channel. And today we're going to do number six, arsenic-laced chicken, which has been an issue for quite some time. Yeah, but it, we're seeing it more in the news right now for an interesting reason. You know, for interesting, uh, it's interesting. That, it uh, is interesting that it's just that now. That it's now popping up a little bit more so um, all around. And actually, friends of ours have stopped us and said, oh my gosh, did you know about this? And I said, well, yes, but they're just learning about it. They're just it. learning about it. And so it's very interesting. So the story just broke on msn.com which we picked up an article, right. and this was just recently. I mean, this is um, 2000, January 2015, this article broke. About how unsafe. How unsafe the arsenic is. Now, they've known that arsenic's been in chicken, in the chicken feed for a long time, but they're saying it's inorganic or it's organic arsenic and it doesn't harm you and this and that. So now the FDA has come back and said, okay, it is dangerous and we do need to stop this drug because it's a drug that, that that's in... Well, so it's not in the feed. It's in the feed. It's in the feed. It's in the feed. It's okay. in the feed. The drug the feed. is in the feed. Okay. So let's read what Dr. Mercola says. So arsenic-based drugs are approved for use in animal feed in the U.S. because they make animals grow quicker and make the meat appear pinker, um, fresher. And fresher. <laughs> the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has stated these products are safe because they contain organic arsenic which is less toxic than the other inorganic form, which is known as, which is a known carcinogen. The problem is scientific reports surface stating that the organic arsenic could transform into inorganic arsenic, which has been found in elevated levels in supermarket chickens. The inorganic arsenic also contaminates manure, where it can eventually migrate into drinking water and may also be causing heightened arsenic levels in U.S. rice. Uh -huh. In 2011, Pfizer announced it would voluntarily stop marketing its arsenic-based feed additive, Roxersone, but there are still several others on the market. Several environmental groups have filed a lawsuit against the FDA calling for their removal from the market. In the European Union, meanwhile, arsenic-based compounds have never been approved as safe for animal feed. So this is banned all over the In the European Union. Union. It's all over, all over Europe. Europe. It's banned. Now, this is 2011. They're saying, he's referencing 2011. Pfizer said it would. Now, we're going to an article of 2015, and they're still having it in the feed. So it's like all these voluntary, voluntary removals of things that you see never really happened. Or they could take a really, really long time. It could take a really, really long time, you know? So when you hear these companies, oh, like, here's, not, not to talk about vaccines, but when they said vaccines, they're removing the mercury, the thermosol from the vaccines, they didn't remove them. They removed them to trace amounts, to a very trace amount. But when it comes to mercury, when it comes to anything, poison's poison at any level. So don't be fooled by, oh, it's a trace amount. Let me give you an example of, of mercury. The size of a grain of salt. If you take that much mercury and put it into a swimming pool, a regular size swimming pool, it'd be too toxic to swim in. It's, it's poisonous. That much mercury is that toxic. So it doesn't matter, no matter if it's true. No matter how much is in there, it's, it's, it's toxic. To toxic is toxic at any level. People don't understand. They're like, oh, well, you know, um, this really people justify things as oh smaller amounts, well larger doses. Well, smaller doses too. Your body too. doesn't know right. small or big. A donut's bad for you whether you have one donut or twelve donuts. Right. It's still bad at any level. Right. Okay, it's more dangerous to having have a, twelve donuts. A, a dozen <laughs> donuts. People don't understand that. They they use logic. Oh, it's only a small amount. In your body, when you ingest food or anything, all your cells know are life or growth. 
life or death that's what they know okay life or death so when you can consume food when you consume a product your cells have a choice now either we're gonna grow or we're gonna die and it, it that, can, that happens with the first donut and the 12th donut it doesn't happen at the second or third donut they don't say oh Marcus is only having one donut today let's not feel the effects of the one donut because he's having moderation and people think oh because I have moderation they can they can they can all of a sudden be immune to something like this so the arsenic has been in the chicken for a long time we've known about it um, but it's in there because people eat with their eyes right and I've said that many times People eat with their eyes. A so lot they're of, looking for a beautiful chicken when they go to mm -hmm. the store, right? Beautiful chicken. Beautiful chicken or beautiful whatever. What, is whatever is in the same thing. Veggies like, and uh, the difference between organic and non-organic. Right. People say that all the time. Oh, that apple has spots on it. That apple has blemishes. That, right. that lemon has blemishes on it. Yeah, because they haven't doused it with all these chemicals, chemicals. to make it look pretty. To keep and, the bugs away from it or to keep the germs away from it right. or anything like that. My big thing is, you know I like to have corn with the worm. Yeah. I don't, eat see, the, I don't eat the worm, but I like to see... see a, if you see a worm in corn, that's great. That means that it, it, there's no chemicals on it. There's no chemicals. That the worm, worm is willing to eat it. Right. But we're also concerned about opening up the corn. You see those people opening the corn. and now, It has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. Now, of course, most people don't see the worm anymore because the worm doesn't exist anymore. Of course not. On a very, very small scale does a worm actually exist. You go to the grocery store, it doesn't exist. So people just go oh, open it up. It's, I think it's that habit of looking for the worm from years before. Mm -hmm. But in actuality, if the worm is willing to eat it, we should be willing to eat it. The worm knows if there's nothing going to touch your corn out in the out in, in its in the farm, then you have to be very skeptical about that. And people are just so trained to 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 eat with their eyes. eyes, and the manufacturers know that, of and they've trained us. And chefs do it as well. Chefs look at a plate, and all the great, all the best flavors could be on that plate, and they say, "Oh, it's lacking." one color it's lacking green it's lacking this and they'll throw something on there just because to make it look pretty when right. the flavors already work well and the dish doesn't look bad to begin with but it's like how can I get that dish to look better because and it's a shame that people eat with their eyes and not with their palate and not for their health so let's go back to the chicken back to the chicken to the arsenic lace chicken and so we got into this conversation about with your eyes because they're saying when you go to the grocery store you know next time you buy chicken make sure you look out for the following things right right if the chicken meat is bright pink in color uh, like in an unnatural way avoid it yes don't buy that chicken make sure the fat content on the chicken is white to deep yellow not gray or uh, pasty right they're saying mm -hmm. um, and then check the date on the package of the chicken and then of course aim for certified organic meats. Yes. Um, it's probably the safest choice for you. you there's none of that, uh, you know, stuff in the chicken. In the chicken. Or in the meats. Right. And, you know, if you're concerned, see, the thing that people don't understand is that when it comes to, 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 to fish and when it comes to meat, chicken, beef, these are animals that eat other things. Okay? So they're going to bioconcentrate. They're going to concentrate the levels, anything that they're eating, they're going to concentrate in their fat deposits and their tissues. That's the downfall to eating meat. It just happens. Mercury is in fish because the fish are eating other fish and it right. bioconcentrates in the fat. Okay? If you want to avoid mercury in your diet, don't eat fish. If you want to avoid um, 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 certain chemicals, you know, like, like butter and cheese because it's such high fat content, really concentrates a lot of dioxins. Uh, PCBs. I mean, it's it's the largest source of PCBs, dioxins in our diet is is dairy products because the animal is eating things that are tainted and right. it's getting stored in the fat. And you're eating a high fat food. The best thing to do is just skip that all together, right? Just skip it all together. There's so many other options to eat, and people think, well, I need my protein, my animal protein every day. You don't need animal protein every day. You can cut back by half, even by a quarter. Really, an adult male only needs about a six ounce steak a week. If you're eating things on a daily basis, literally one to two ounces of chicken a day is all you need to suffice your protein levels. So don't think that you need to eat 
the whole half a chicken to get your protein in or to be or to be nourished properly. That, that that's one of the most biggest misconceptions out there. And you don't need it at all, but if you if you do still want it, you don't need nearly as much as you're eating. And that would really help you in eliminating a lot of this arsenic, dioxins, whatever right. it is, the heavy metals, anything that's building up the hormones, the antibiotics, the disease uh, resistant bacteria, that would just help you just eliminate it altogether. Just either cut back to one to two ounces a day, which is all you need, or six ounces a week. Um, as an adult male, only six ounces a week. So those are shocking numbers for a lot of people, but that's the reality of what you need. But it, proteins in all of your other foods. I like cantaloupes. And one, you know, medium-sized small cantaloupe has seven grams of protein in it. And if I had that for breakfast, people are trying to like add protein powders to their smoothies and everything to build up the protein. And I'm getting seven, seven solid grams from one cantaloupe, and I can eat two cantaloupes for breakfast. So, um, anything else on this? No. No. Nope. Just be careful of the chicken that you do yeah. buy for your family. And, the biggest and thing is, you get what you pay for. That's the honest Absolutely. truth you get what you pay for if you're buying cheap chicken you're gonna get things that have fillers and if you're buying chicken from a farmer from a farmer's market and you're paying twice the price you're not gonna have all of those additives right and then at that point you're saying okay well, I'm eating I'm buying much I'm something much more on my chicken or my beef in reality I don't need to eat as much as I need to so let me focus on more vegetables and fruits fruits and veggies and cut back my chicken, cut back my beef, and and eat something that's really much, much better for me and for the environment and for my kids. Absolutely. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. And Jamie. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my website, chefonamission.com.